Mr. Boniface Abubakar, who is MP for Medina and also in the office of the Vice President. Thank you very much. Uh, so you also listened keenly to the presentation by the Finance Minister, and I'm sure you are, you are in full agreement of a lot of things he said. Absolutely. If you care to know, before the budget was read, I was interviewed by various uh, media houses, and I gave them my expectation. And I'm not surprised, at the end of the day, one major thing NDC were trying to speculate was that there was, there was going to be increases in taxes on... I said there was nothing going to happen in that side. Fortunately, there, there wasn't anything mentioned on taxes. Now, what I want everybody to know is that this is a budget to consolidate our gains with respect to uh, uh, our economic growth, job creation, and of course, to enhance prosperity for the good people of this country. As I heard him talk, you could see that he did mention some of the achievements that other, uh, the ministries were, were, were going through. If you take the uh, uh, Minister of uh, Special Development Initiative, he did mention about this one, 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 one constituency, one ambulance, we're talking of one dam, one village. We are talking of, he mentioned one district, one factory. I mean, uh, planting for food and jobs, planting for food and exports. Just let us restrict ourselves there alone. And you see, it, you see the benefits that will inure to the good people of this country. First of all, if you are talking of planting for food and jobs, it means that the opportunity is being created for a lot of people to get into the agricultural sector. If the farm government has taken a step because, one, the, the government doesn't want a situation where your farm, you have excess production, and then the supply will exceed the demand on the market, and therefore prices will fall. Government has decided to establish buffer stock, and in so doing, is, I mean, uh, building warehouses. Government will mop up the excesses on the market, ensure that prices are stabilized. When there's shortage of food on the market, government will then bring it to the market and stable the prices. Now, two, by going ahead with the one district, one factory, most of the products that we ask asking for value addition are local products, mostly agricultural products.